Um, this is um, a yoga practice for motivation. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, when the lockdown started, we did motivation for inner calm because I felt like that's what we needed. Certainly, what I needed. That's what I was doing a lot of. And then I was doing a lot of yoga to let go um, of various unwanted things, be that emotions, stresses, tensions, <laughs> and uh, lots of people feeding back that they're feeling they want to feel more motivation and they've got good intentions, they want to do this, do that, but oh, how can I do it? So uh, this is, um, motivation comes from within, so if you're looking for it externally, mm -mm, not going to happen. Um, I have lots of flaws, but one of my strengths is being self-motivated, so um, so, so this is a practice that, uh, that comes quite naturally for me. So yeah, lots of kind of opening, um, unlocking and releasing energy, because we all have it inside us, sometimes it's just stuck. Um, what else have we got in this practice? Releasing negativity again, and of course finding focus. Yoga's great for finding focus, so I've, I've really specifically designed this practice. Anyway, enough talk. So you're not feeling motivated, you don't want to listen to somebody talk, are you? Hopefully that's not too loud. Got some nice soft, gentle music on. We're gonna start standing. We're gonna start standing. Let's take our feet hip width apart. Let's push our feet into the floor. Feel the soles of your feet in the floor. Feel grounded. Lift up through the legs. Engage your core. So this practice is gonna be energetic at times. Send your tailbone down. I want you to really listen to your body. As always, I can't see you, so I can't correct you. So please listen to the corrections, listen to the things I'm telling you. Um, and if you feel any pain or you need to modify anything, absolutely, you know, stop and modify. Listen to your body. Really important. Listen to your body. Okay, feet push down. Lift up, engage through your quad. Send your tailbone down. Feel your mulabandha, your pelvic floor lifting. There's an energy lock right here. So engage. This is your support centre couple of big shoulder rolls. Nice, palms forward, feel the heart space, the chest open. Feel the spine long, gazes forward and breathe. And you can be still, or you can sway slightly, it feels nice to move. Full breath, feel your breath go into the belly. Feel it come out all the way from the lower belly, all the way up through the ribs, through the chest, out through the nose if you can. Keep breathing, notice your breath. Keep noticing. What's your breath doing? Make it long, make it smooth. Notice your body as you breathe. Don't worry if you're feeling all sorts of tight and stress and just notice and just keep breathing for a moment. Just going inwards, just centering ourselves, keep breathing. Okay, let's add a simple arm flow with our breath. So breathing in, into the belly. As you exhale, send your chest, your heart space high and cactus the arms down. So squeeze the elbows down behind you, squeeze the shoulder blades together at the back. And again, inhale, lift up. Navel to spine as you do this. Exhale, send the heart space up, lift the head, squeeze the shoulders down and together at the back. Breathing in and up. Full breath. Follow your breath. You don't have to be in time with me. We'll do a couple more of these. And again, breathing in. Notice your feet, press down through the feet, engage your quads. Exhale, open the heart space. Not forcing it. Just moving through it. Last one, breathing in. Full breath in. Full breath out. Nice. Inhale, reach the arms up. Keep pressing the legs down, ground down. Take hold of one wrist. Let's take hold of your right wrist. Lift up and then tilt over to the side. Push into your right heel as you pull your right wrist over to the side, creating a C shape. Now watch your right shoulder hasn't come forward. Sink right shoulder back, left shoulder forwards, chest to the ceiling, breathe. Watch that you're not arching your back. Draw your tailbone under. Keep with the breath. Breathing into tension in the upper body. Breathing into the lower belly. Just 
small, simple movement, but quite intense. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, lift up. Keep navel to spine. Take hold of the left wrist. Take it over to the left side. Push into your left foot. Left hip goes out slightly. Left shoulder back, right shoulder forward. Shoulders away from your ears. Breathe, soften your jaw. Keep that strength. So keep these muscles drawing in. Keep that strength within you. Keep breathing. Full breath in. Soften the jaw. One more breath in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Nice. Step the legs nice and wide. Toes pointing forward. Now activate the legs. Don't just hang out here. Lift up through the legs. Lift up through your pelvic floor, your lower abdominals. A little slow. We're going to do a few times here. So inhale, open out, reach out. As you exhale, knees over middle toes, bending down to parallel squat, hamster prayer. Inhale, reach up again. Exhale, take it forward, hinge from the hips, fingertips between your feet if you can. If not, hands go towards the legs. Now keep your hips square and from your waist, inhale, right arm up, look towards the ceiling. So it's a twist, but don't lift the right hip. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to the left. So unravel your left arm like a bow and arrow, but don't lift that left hip, keep the hips steady. So opening just through the upper body from the navel upwards, exhale, lower down. Push into your feet, pull up through your core as you inhale, lift up. Let's go with the breath from the top. Exhale, squat it down, hamster prayer. Push the palms together, strong upper body. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, twist to the right. Exhale, lower. If you need to bend your knees, get the hands out, no problem. Inhale, left arm up. If you need to take the legs wider, no problem. Exhale, down. Inhale, push into the feet, engage your core, open out. Exhale, gaze is forward, squat down. Especially if the ankles are tight, you'll really feel this. Inhale, open. Forward to go, hinging from the hips. Navel to spine, support your lower back. Inhale, twist to the right. Notice tension, exhale, lower. Twist should become slightly easier as you go along. Inhale, open to the left. Exhale, fully. So use your full breath here. Push into the feet. Inhale, lift up. Twice more. Exhale, bend. Inhale, up. Full breath in. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips. Inhale, right arm. Unravel. Open the shoulder, open the chest. Exhale, lower. Pushing into both feet as you inhale, left arm up. Exhale, lower. Push into the feet, engage your lower abdominals. Open once more, big as you can. Exhale, PA down. Inhale, push into the feet. Let your energy come from the ground. Exhale, lower. Inhale, twist. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, twist. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, push into the feet, lift up. Exhale, lower. Step to the top of your mat. We're going to do a half sun salutation, so we're going to break it down into two halves this time. So pushing into the feet, hip width apart, or feet together if you're a regular practicer. Practicer? Regular yogi. Inhale, lift up. If you want a slight back bend, chest opener, go for it. If not, just lift up. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Forward fold. If you want the legs apart, that's fine. Soft knees, that's also fine. Inhale, lift up, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Navel to spine, push into the feet all the way back up. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to prayer. Okay, we're going to stick with that a few more times. Inhale, up. Either reaching up or lift through the legs, hips forward, slight back bend if you want. Exhale, forward fold. Go with your breath. If you're not with me, who cares? But listen to your breath. Inhale, flat back. Either up the shins or open the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Push into the feet. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, ground down. Hands to prayer. Twice more, just like that. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward fold. Now bend your knees if you need to. Don't worry if your legs don't straighten here. Inhale, flat back. Lengthen the movement, lengthen the breath. Exhale, forward fold. 
Push over to the feet. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, flow. Round down. Notice how you're feeling. Our last round. Here we go. Inhale up. Find space. Fluid movement. Inhale, lift the chest flat back. Exhale, forward fold and hold it here. A couple of breaths here. Good. Now stay in your forward fold, but take your feet as wide as the mat. Now we're going to have a go at a, a, a little twist here, so bear with me. It'll take a moment to get into it, but it's really nice once you're there. Keep your knees bent. So you're going to take the less flexible you are in your hamstrings, the more you're going to need to bend. So I'm going to demonstrate it twice then, okay? You're going to take your right shoulder towards your right inside thigh. Put your right hand through the leg. Right hand through the leg. Left arm's going to go out. And you're going to try and take hold of the hands here. This is dignified viewing, isn't it? Take hold, I'm walking around, take hold of the hands here. Now you might not be able to reach that. Some of you will be here and you'll be able to bring the legs close together and start to straighten the legs and you'll get an amazing stretch through that right shoulder as well as the right and left hip. Okay, some of you are going to be much wider and you'll be like, oh, I'm nowhere near touching. That's okay. Just hand to the leg, left hand to the lower back and start to twist towards your left. Okay, it's a twisty forward fold, it's a good one. So wherever you are, open your chest towards the left. Start to straighten the legs, that's your intention, you don't have to straighten them. And breathe, breathe, breathe. Fully. It's going to feel tight in this position. And I want you to really breathe into those intercostal muscles. Feel expansion on an inhale. Softening on an exhale, really open that left shoulder, look up if it feels okay. On your next exhale, bend the knees a little more than they are and release, have a little sway side to side. Let's go on to the other side, move slowly, listen to your body. So bend as much as you need to, left shoulder go to the inside of your left leg. We're going to put our left arm through the leg, left arm goes up towards your buttock. Right arm goes out and over towards your lower back. And if you can take hold of your right wrist, great. If not, who cares? Push into the feet, start to send the hips high. Twist towards the right, look up, breathe. So good for your organs and your nervous system, this one. Keep breathing. Soften through the face. Two more breaths here. Breathing really into tightness, into tension. On your next exhale, release. Bend your knees fully. Come down, lift the heels if you need to into our yogi squat. If you can get your heels down, then great. If you can't, then stay here with the hands on the floor. And you might need to just keep swaying. Start to ease out through the hip. I did years of this before I ever got my heels down. If the heels are down, you can lift the hands. Awesome. If not, stay here, no problem. So, your version of yogi squat. So wherever you are, find stillness, or if you feel like you want to keep swaying, that's okay too, but lift the heart space, and your intention is to drop your tailbone, your bottom down, now breathe fully. Gaze is down, or you can close the eyes, take your attention inward just for a moment, before we move on to our second half of our flow. Notice how you're feeling. From here, we're going to take the hands down. Now you're going to step your legs or hop them back to plank. As you exhale, lower to the belly. Keep the elbows in. Inhale, lift the chest. Curl the toes and then push back on an exhale, downward facing dog. So 10 fingers pushing into the floor. Bend your knees as much as you need to. First round dog, start to send the hips way back. Pelvic floor and lower abdominals, lift in and up and send your hips back. Start to lower the heels. Now your shoulders should feel open. So rotate the elbows out and under. Gaze between the legs if you know what you're doing. Just find stillness and breathe. We're going to repeat that from our yogi squat couple more times. So look forward, bend the knees, step in towards your hands, or you can do multiple jumps, or you can do one big jump. Doesn't have to be pretty, have a play. 
Let's find stillness again. Couple of big breaths here. Keep breathing. Now, if you're a more advanced practice person, um, you've lots of yoga and you can do crow position. If you want to, you can take crow instead of your squat and you can even, from crow if you want to, jump straight through and go to a chaturanga. They're just options. The rest of us are here. On your next inhalation, jump or step to plank. Exhale, lower, hug the elbows. Inhale, lift the chest. Really send that heart up. Exhale, curl the toes, push back, downward facing dog. Two full breaths in. Notice your spine. Can you get it any longer? Relax the head, send the tailbone up. One more breath. Look forwards and bend the knees. Jump or step, feet to the outside of the mat. Find your yogi squat or crow. Breathe. Breathe fully. Hands down on your next inhale. Jump or step to plank. Hug the abs in. Exhale, lower down. Chest to floor or chest around all the way up. Exhale, push back to your down dog. Couple of breaths here. Notice your spine. Notice your hands and feet. Notice your pelvic floor. Look forwards. Last time. Find your squat. Or crow. On your next inhalation, hop or step to plank. Exhale, lower to the belly or chest of anger, up and through. Exhale fully, downward facing dog, breathe. Full breath here, send the hips up. Okay, from here, let's inhale. Lift our right leg up and exhale, step it forwards between the hands. Draw your left leg in, heel comes in and we're going to cartwheel the arms up to our warrior two. Right toes turning out, left toes forwards. Now bend deeply, knee in line with heel. Lift the heart space, send your tailbone down, draw the arms out, breathe. Pushing into both feet evenly, look beyond the right fingertips, breathe in. Take your focus inwards. Feel that line of energy from one middle finger right the way through to the other. We're going to go through a little lunge flow here. Be kind to your knees. You don't have to go as low or as deeply as I do. But you do what feels right. We're going to keep the hands in prayer the whole time if you can. Do it twice on each side. So in warrior two, hands in press, strong back, lift the heart space, shoulders down. Good, three. Now you can stay here or go a bit deeper or if it feels okay, turn your left foot out and you can come all the way down. If that feels okay on the knee. Now push into both feet. Keep the hands in press, come onto your left tippy toes. Let's find our low lunge. We're going into a twist. Take your left side arm all the way over the right thigh. If this is too deep, just put your hands on your right thigh and right thigh, right thigh and twist the upper body, pelvic floor in. If not, we're here, low lunge, full prayer twist. Aiming to push our hands in prayer in the center of our chest, look up towards the right shoulder if that feels okay. Slice your left heel away and breathe fully. Get your spine as long as you can. Push into both feet, inhale up. Keep the hands in prayer, come back to your low side lunge, or if it's too much, come back to a low warrior two. Take a breath. Inhale, push into the legs. Take it to the other side. Starting in warrior two, reach the arms out, shoulders down, breathe. Notice your heart space, the chest, lift and open. Reach between the middle fingers, look beyond your left fingertips. Breathe fully. Push evenly into both feet. Right toes are pointing forwards, left toes are out. Pelvic 
Florida. It's a lovely view of a tractor going over a hill just outside the window and all the birds fluttering behind. It's a lovely view. Hands to prayer, shoulders down, lift through the nose. Breathe, soften the face. Stay here, go a bit deeper or turn the right toes out. Take it all the way down if that feels okay. Breathe. Keep active through the legs. Push into both feet, turn towards the right toes. Lift through the pelvic floor, push evenly into both feet. Lift the chest on an exhale, take your twist. Lengthen through the spine. Sink chest to ceiling. Rotating from the base of your spine right up until the crown of the head. Breathe fully. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, turn. Coming to your side bird. From hands to prayer, keep the shoulders. Watch we're not rounding. Shoulders down and back. Push into both feet. Take your warrior two. And then lift up, legs wide. We're going to flow to both sides without stopping this time. Okay, one breath per position. So right toes out, left toes, toes in. Take a breath in. Exhale, take your lowest version. Take a breath here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, into your twist. Take one breath here. Inhale, lift up. Take it all the way back down. Keep your focus. We're doing this for focus. Keep your navel to spine drawing in. Push into both feet to come up. Over to the other side. Either your warrior two or you go as low as you can. No discomfort in the knees. Take a breath here. Full breath. Move with your breath. Don't worry if you're not with me. That's not important. Push into both feet. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Over we go. One breath here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, float down. One breath here. Keep the chest lifted. Keep your mulabandha, your root lock, these lower muscles pulled in. Inhale, exhale, once more, over and down we go. Take a breath here. Push into the feet, inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Take a breath here. Find length, find your deep twist instantly. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down we go. Take a breath here. Push into the feet. Inhale up. Exhale, over to the left. Nice work. Hold it here. Pushing into both feet. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Look up to the shoulder. Find your position and breathe. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down we go. Inhale, lift up. Turn the feet parallel, hands to the waist. Exhale, find your forward fold. Relax down, fingertips between the feet. Breathe. Bend the hips really high, push into the feet, push into the outside of the feet. Hands to the hips, push into the feet, come up to your flat back, long spine, strong core. Turn the right toes out, left toes in. Open the arms, lift, breathe in. Exhale, push into both feet. If you lean to the side, float down, trikonasana, triangle pose. Send your tailbone down, so it's almost like you're tucking it under as you reach your left arm up. Now don't collapse into this hand. If, you, if you're tempted to do that, just bring the palm forwards, otherwise it's just resting here, breathing. For anyone who's, again, more advanced with their practice, you want to loop hold of your right, right big toe, that's great. Just watch the shoulders that come forwards, keep it open, open. For everyone, think right shoulder back, sorry, left shoulder back, right shoulder forward, look up. Or, if that doesn't feel good on the neck, look forwards. Draw your navel to your spine and then really tuck your tailbone under. Feel the inside thigh and the right, right side lift. And feel your psoas and your hip 
on the left side really start to open. Flip your palms, it feels okay, and reach beyond the head. Push into the outside of your left foot as you reach, 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 left fingertips over. Now breathe, push into the big toe on the right side. Full breath. Now keep the feet where they are, push into both feet, we're gonna flow the arm. Exhale, allow the left shoulder to come forwards and down. Inhale, open, pull the left shoulder back as you scoop that arm overhead. Exhale, forwards. Pushing evenly into both feet. Inhale, open. Send the left hip and the left shoulder up, up, up. Good, exhale, down, two more of these. Feel the obliques engage. Inhale, open. Exhale, down, last one. Inhale, up. One more breath here. Push into the right foot, soften the knee, lift up. Exhale, lower the arms, right toes in, left toes out. Take a breath here. It's a big one, triangle if you do it properly, really opening through your psoas. It's lovely, lovely. Reach the arms out. Inhale, push into both feet as you lengthen. Exhale, navel to spine, start to float, allow the hips to tilt with you. Float down, right arm comes up. Remember, don't collapse here. Find length through both sides of the body. So you're not shortening your left side. Both sides are long. Lift the inside thigh. Send your tailbone under slightly. So think right buttock to right heel. That's going to really start to open up. If it feels okay, flip the palm, look up, reach over. Feel a long line of energy from your, the outside of your right foot to the very tip of your right fingers. Now breathe, shoulders down. Both thighs are active. Feel your breath. Fill your torso with air as you inhale. On your next exhalation, allow that right shoulder to come forwards and down. And now inhale, swoop it to the side. Open your right hip, open your right shoulder. Take it overhead. Keep pushing into both feet evenly. Exhale. Navel to spine stabilizes you. Inhale, open, lower. Should feel nice, even though it's quite a strong on this. Exhale, forwards and down. Inhale, open. Two more. Exhale, forwards and down. Inhale, open. Last one. And as you inhale, draw the right hip and right shoulder back and your left hip and your left shoulder under. Hold it here. Breathe fully. Push into both feet, soften your left knee to come up. And then step or jump the feet back. Find your mountain pose. And just breathe and notice. Notice where, where you're feeling tense where you're gripping, maybe unintentionally, where you're feeling movement, releasing, discomfort perhaps, or easing. Breathe. We're gonna have a short balancing um, couple of postures, which will really help with focus before we go back down to the mat. So, again, work at your own pace. We're going to start with tree pose. Lift the right foot and lift standing on one leg. Really not possible today. You can use a chair or something to, to balance with. Absolutely fine. So you can lift it just off the floor or you can take it all the way up, not by the knee, so below or above the knee, up to a full tree. Pushing heel to leg, leg to heel. And then find your root lock, navel to spine. Soft chest, soft jaw. I'm, st I'm still with my pretend chair. Um, <coughs> which is fine, just keep hold of something if you need to, or a wall is fine. Otherwise, hands to prayer. Let's lift the arms up overhead and take your right arm in front of your left and we're gonna twist the wrist, reverse, twisted prayer, shoulders down. Now feel the heart space lift. Feel your left thigh push into your right heel and really feel navel to spine. You've got a, a lock here of energy. It's energy coming up through the earth, up through the left foot, locking it here, nice, soft, floaty, calm in the upper body, breathing. Nice, soften the shoulders down. Now stick with me, open the 
the arms, lift the right leg, take hold of your right big toe with your first two uh, fingers, start to extend it forwards, left hip comes down. Now if you need to bend your knees, that's fine. Try not to round through the back too much. So send the chest forward. So you might be here with a bent leg, might be able to extend. Wherever you are, no problem, navel to spine. Just one breath here. Open it to the side. Again, don't worry if you're bent, you need the arm out to balance, no problem. So if you can straighten it, awesome. Couple of breaths, keep breathing. Focus, keep the eyes open. If you wobble, come out of it, go back into it. Last one, keep the right leg forwards. Take hold of the outside of your right foot with your left hand. I'm gonna place this way for you. And then you're gonna extend the right leg as much as you can forwards, open the chest, right arm out. Hey, hey, we're finding a twist. So you can see me, don't need to hop. I'm just trying to get into frame. So again, don't worry if you're bent with the leg, navel to spine, this is the big one. And breathe. And if you can, keep the right hip back, shoulders down, look towards your right hand. That's the challenge. Slowly release. That takes some focus. Release the ankles. Mountain pose. Okay. Good. When you're ready, lift the left foot. Have something to hold on to if you need to. Wherever you are, push your foot into your leg, right leg into the left foot. Find that bind. Squeeze your lower abdominals. Spread your right toes, don't grip the floor. Feel energy lift through that right leg and hug it in here. Good, relax your whole body. Hands to prayer. And lift up. And if you're feeling stable, secure, left hand comes in front of right, reverse the wrist. Palms together, lift the chest, shoulders down. So you're aiming to get your uh, outer arms by your ears and breathe. Softening your face into a smile if it feels okay to do that. Breathe fully, notice your breath. Tricky, I know this bit, but stick with me. Take hold of your left big toe with the left first two fingers. Hand to the waist, start to extend it. If you're here, that's awesome. Doesn't matter, takes a long time to get from one bit to the other, but stick with it, breathe. Open to the side, bent, straight, wherever you are. And if you're not holding your toes and you just got hold of your shin, that's great too. One more breath. Bend the leg back to centre. Right hand comes to the outside of your left foot. Now take your left hand back as you start to straighten both limbs, all limbs in fact. Lift your back, drop your tailbone, hug the left hip in, breathe, smile. Probably enough, isn't it? If it feels okay, then look back towards your left hand. Couple more breaths here. Soften the left knee, slowly come out of it, release the ankles, notice how you're feeling, just lower the head slightly. Nice, interlock the fingers behind you, put the palms together and then squeeze the shoulders down and together at the back, pull your hands down and away from you. Breathe in. Exhale, soft knees, forward fold. Keep the arms in this position. Now hold it here. Bend the hips high. Breathe into tightness and discomfort in the chest and shoulders. Try not to let the shoulders go towards your ears. Keep space, keep the neck nice and long. Relax your jaw, relax your head. One more breath here. On an exhale, slowly release the arms down. And in no particular fashion, I'm going to come down to our knees. 
just kneel for a second. Take a little foot stretch. Roll the shoulder between your feet. So, curl the toes under, we're going straight in. Ten toes on the floor, so if you roll in or out, be aware of that. Ten toes on the floor. Sit back, engage your core. So this is a really intense posture for me. Some people can sit here for a long time. Children especially tend to be fine with this. Some of you, especially if you get slightly arthritic, which my toes are, um, it's like, oh. so I need, really need to find my focus and really focus to breathe in this position. If it really gets too much, you can lift up slightly, go back into it. We're gonna try and hold it for four breaths. So you can take the hands to the legs or prayer or to the forehead and just breathe. Breathing into discomfort, softening, stretching the feet, just using that support system, the lower abdominals to draw in, pelvic floor lift. One more breath here. As you release, take the hands forward and release the toes. Good. Camel pose. Gonna keep opening through the front body. Come up onto your knees. Knees are hip distance apart. I'm gonna start with a side bend. Listen to your body with this. We're all gonna be very different. So take and we start uh, with some slightly uh, more basic options, and then go more intense. You don't have to take those. Take your left hand down the left leg. Reach the right arm up. Open the chest. Good. So you're going to start some opening across the front body. You can stay there. If it feels okay, you can take your left arm back to your foot. Push the hips forward and start to reach back with the right arm. Good. Right, the head together. Don't collapse here. Keep your tailbone pushing down and under. So someone's pushing, literally pushing your bottom and your hips forward. So you're opening through the quads as well. Shoulders are back. Breathe. Navel to spine brings you back down. Sit back down towards the heels. Inhale back up. Let's go to the other side. Right hand goes down the leg. Lift the left arm up. Breathe it out here. Keep sending the hips forwards, even in this position. Okay, so you're engaging your lower abdominals, sending the tailbone down, gripping my buttocks here. So much so that I've given myself a short wedgie. Hold it there. If it feels okay, on the other side. Right hand to the right foot. Send the hips forward, shoulders back. Left arm can reach. Up and over. Remember, don't collapse into your pelvis. Pelvic floor is engaged. Tailbone can pushing downwards. And you're breathing. Push into the tops of the feet, engage your core, come out, lift up. We're going for a full travel this time. So, two options hands to the lower back, weave the shoulders together. Push your hips forward and engage your core, that might be enough. If it feels okay, you can take hold of your feet just like we did with one hand but with two. And then push your hips forward, squeeze your shoulder blades together and allow the head to go back. Now breathe fully in this rather vulnerable position. And none of us like feeling vulnerable, do we? So notice how you can breathe and calm yourself in this posture. Keep taking your focus inwards if the mind starts to wander. Notice your body, notice your breath. Two more breaths here. Take your hands to your lower back. Slowly pull up. Sit back onto the heels. Knees can be together or wide, whatever feels better, whatever you feel like you want to do today. But put your sit bones on your heels and walk the hands forward. Forward, forward, and then start to melt the forehead down. Extended child's pose. Breathe here, feel the skin on the back stretch as you inhale. Exhale fully and softly through the nose. Notice if you're gripping anywhere. Try and soften as you are. This is a passive posture, so let go. It's like a real surrendering posture. Good. 
Keep breathing here. Keep letting go. Start to walk the hands in and unroll. And come onto seated position. We're going to cross the legs with the right leg in front to begin with. <clears throat> this is for a hip, a hip opener. So I'm going to, I'm going to mirror you. I've got my left leg in front. So right leg in front for you guys. Um, and if you're quite bendy, you might be able to go one step further and take your right leg into a half lotus, keeping that foot flex. So you don't want the ankle tickled, okay? So there should be no discomfort in the foot or ankle. Keep your feet nice and active. Ground down, so feel your thighs, your pelvis, your hips go downwards. Feel that real grounding, that heaviness, and feel that lift through the body. Come to your legs, just breathe here. Nice. Good, take your left hand to your right hip. Keep pushing down on it there, and we're gonna lift that right arm up overhead. So you're pushing on the hip here and you're lifting. Okay, so really get that, that left hand into your right hip. Push down, lift up. Opening through the hip here, keep breathing. And then keeping this hand here, keeping both sit bones on the floor, start to come forward, the right hand extended. And then reaching over your left leg, if you can get down, take the fingertips to the floor. Now, if you feel like your left, hand, your left hand is in the way here, you can always come and extend that one as well if that feels safe. Or you can keep pushing on the hip, whichever feels nicer. So you're reaching diagonally over your left knee and your right hip is still, and sit bone is still pulling back. So you're really working into the glutes and the hip here. Breathe in fully. Full breath in, full breath out. Keeping that right ankle active, keeping the toes flexed, one more breath. Walk the hands to centre, take a breath here. And roll it up. Lift up. Nice. Change legs, so left leg forward, ankles in line with knees, if you can do that. Or if you did it on the other side, you can take your half lotus. Both sit bones are down. Right hand goes to left hip. Now push down into that hip so that you can start to lift up and over and out of it with the left arm coming overhead. Again, don't rock forward. Push down, lengthen up, breathe. Soften the shoulders down. Soften through the neck and the head. And keep pushing down as you start to take the body forward. Notice for every different for everyone where there's tight bits, what movement and at what point you kind of find that really tight squeeze point. Might want to hold it there. You might feel okay to lower the hand down, in which case do that. Listen to your body, do what feels right for you. You can extend both hands if you want. So think chest to right knee, but keep your left buttock, your left sit bone on the floor. Relax the head wherever you are. Four big breaths. Notice your breathing and notice your tension. Keep that left ankle flexed and active. Walk the hands to centre. Take a breath here. Roll it up. Okay. Come on to the side. We're just going to take, before we lie down fully, we're going to stomp over the legs, take hold of the backs of the legs, almost like a kind of hug, or if you prefer to take the arms over 
the front of the shins and that's good for you but relax the head down fully this is a good position for going inwards and if it feels okay you can use the side of your knee to gently press on the temples either side of the head just breathe here notice how you're feeling physically emotionally just notice Slowly roll down onto your mat. Allow the legs to fall out to the side, palms to fall out or place them on your belly. Lift the chest slightly, shoulder blades underneath, then lower and lower your chin slightly so your neck feels long. Notice every part of the body that's in contact with the floor, with the mat. And allow those parts to become really heavy. Feel how they're supported and then soften through any other areas. Just soften. Breathe and feel the whole body as one, whatever that means to you, it's fine. Just going to give you a moment to just fully relax, fully let go and just keep the mind coming back to the body, to the breath as it starts to wander. And if you want to stay here for a bit longer before we do our seated meditation or our seated breathing exercise for today, then just pause for however long you want to. Otherwise, roll onto your left side. Take a breath. And then push up to any comfortable seated position, kneeling or cross leg, anything that feels good for you. Just for the last couple of minutes, while we just do a quick breathing, breathing exercise, that's really good for focus um, and it's alternate nostril breathing. So if anyone finds this really difficult or if you're slightly congested or you're congested in one side, don't use the hands and just, because it's mostly about the mental focus anyway, just imagine inhaling through the right side, out through the left, and as I say in a moment, but without using the hand at all. Okay, so you can do it without using your hand at all if you want to. Um, and still keep the focus and get the same benefits. But otherwise, a little bit faffy, but always feels amazing afterwards. First, uh, index finger and middle finger go to your third eye. You're going to use your thumb on your right nostril, if you're using your right hand, and your little finger and ring finger on your left nostril. So close your right nostril with your thumb. Inhale through the left nostril into the belly. Now seal the left side at the top of the nose using your ring finger and little finger. And then exhale, release the thumb, exhale through the right side. Inhale through the right side. Seal the right side. Exhale through the left side. Inhale through the left nostril. Fully seal the left side. Unseal the right side. Exhale through the right side. Inhale fully through the right nostril. Seal the right nostril. Excellent. Now do this in your own time. I'm going to keep saying it for those who need it to follow, but do it in your own time. A few more breaths. I lost where we were, so we'll start again. Seal the right side. Inhale through the left nostril. Seal it. Unseal the right and exhale through the right. Keep your focus on this. Inhale through the right nostril. Seal it. Exhale through the left. Couple more in your own time. Keep the spine long as you do this. Keep the face soft. And then release. 
release the hands. Breathe in fully through both nostrils. Exhale, shoulder turn the back. Alternate nostril breathing. Really nice tool to have, really good for calming, for energizing, for uplifting as well. But good for really finding your focus. Really hope this practice helps um, find some inner motivation. Um, there's lots of things that I do a lot, but your feedback is always welcome. Lots of love to all.